installment of 5 Minute Tones. On today's video, I want to quickly demonstrate the feedback simulator that I was using on the Axe FX3 for that little clip at the start. This particular feedback simulator was put together by the one and only Simeon Harris. I've featured some of Simeon's presets and blocks on the channel before, and we've had a little jam collaboration on here, which I will link at the end of the video. If you're not familiar with Simeon's work on the Axe FX, great player, amazing sound designer, go and grab their blocks and leave a donation because I think they deserve it for all the work they do with the general fractal community. But this is such a clever trick. Essentially, you take your existing preset. I've got an amp block over here set to the USA lead mid gain, my go-to cab IR and the quad parallel delay. Pretty much my three favorite things in the box. Uh, this is a PRS McCarty and it sounds like this. <laughs> sustain and gain to get us going right there but I'm not playing at concert levels if you watch old clips of you know Hendrix or Led Zeppelin where they're getting amazing controlled feedback it is a byproduct of immense volume so if you know the volume you can use a synth block over here and Simeon has laid out instructions on the fractal forum to replicate this I think they work pretty well for my setup on here so it is a single synth voice just a triangle type on here you set the other voices to off and set the tracking on here to off. So that means it's just gonna generate a single triangle wave tone on here. The trick is in here, we wanna set the frequency to follow the pitch follower on the Axe FX3. This is one of my favorite controllers or modifiers in the box where you can turn the pitch of an incoming note into a control signal and then the hack to get it to basically track the frequency of your playing is to set the start, mid, and end values to the values here. So 30.3%, 62%, and 93.7%. You might have to tweak those a little bit, but that's the important part of that. That means that that triangle wave will always be tracking the note that you're playing. Then you can use an expression pedal, or in this case, a control switch, and attach it to the overall mix of this synth block so that you can basically blend it in. I've followed Simeon's instructions and I've got the attack pretty much where they had it. I've got 650 milliseconds and 50 milliseconds. I've assigned this to control switch four, which on my FC controller I have set up as a momentary switch. So it's only gonna be active when I'm holding it down. So you can see over here, CS4 is set to, uh, no, CS1 is set to latching, CS4 is set to momentary over here. So you could use an expression pedal for that if you want real time control. The last little trick is to set the shift to seven. So this will give you a perfect fifth above the note you're playing, connected it in parallel. And that's pretty much it. I've saved it into my blocks library so I can recall it at any time. And I'll try and play something similar to what I played before. Then I'm gonna engage the control switch and hold it down for the duration that I want the feedback. <laughs> You could see in there, as I was playing along, this frequency parameter was tracking the note I was playing, and then the mix control slowly swelled in. The time that you want that swell to be is set by the attack, and then having a fast release means that when you let go of the control switch, that synth tone is quickly gonna dip under. And you kind of have to experiment with the way you play. You would have noticed there that with my right hand, when I was holding a note, I was muting the strings around it because if you're not super careful on here, you could say trigger a different note. You know, if you've got like a ringing high E, the pitch follower might pick that up. It's like anything in this kind of setup where you're trying to, I guess, recreate a natural phenomena using unnatural means. There's always compromises involved. Another thing you might want to try is set the shift to 19. So an octave and a fifth above the note you're playing. This will give you a totally wild sound. <laughs> I absolutely love this trick. I'm gonna add it to my main live preset so that I can have some fun with this live. And like I said earlier, there will be links in the video description to the original thread detailing how to set this up, as well as Simeon's website. 
go and check out their blocks because there are some amazing ambient and synth inspired patches on there and you should definitely leave a donation and spread the love. That's all for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.